Alrighty, so we ran our display and we're visualizing our images and let's scroll through and see what our algorithm did. So as you can see here, some of our images are have great bounding boxes. We see it covering pretty much for the most part the houses. This included stilts. What isn't so accurate is necessarily the the score that it receives. Here we have an affected home with about 70% accuracy, great. Here we have actually two bounding boxes, not ideal. And here we have an affected house with 50% uh, accuracy, and here we have an affected house, but it's actually destroyed. And so this is getting into the application of machine learning and why accuracy is so important and so is recall. So we have a destroyed home here. Perhaps someone was living in that home and is requesting aid assistance or needs help by local community members. If the community is telling them that they are not affected, that there is no damage because they're using these damage assessments, it could result in some pretty serious implications um, and some life altering support. So I would like to caution that this is the introductory step to machine learning for damage assessment. It's far from robust and it needs other levers like on the ground assistance or potentially a two way feedback system. Perhaps the local community member wants to communicate that damage. Perhaps it doesn't matter because they're not going to claim assistance. All of these things go into helping understand damage assessment and machine learning is just one tool to make that process more smooth. So let's continue on in our notebook.